What's up, guys? It's Edge Martinez hanging out with the Latin Prince of the Airwaves. Hold up, what's up? It's the Latin Prince of the Airwaves. The Prince hanging with the Queen. She <laughs> needs no introduction. Angie Martinez, my special guest. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm well. I'm I well. Like your hat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First and foremost, happy belated Capricorn season. Thank you. You Capricorn too? I am. My birthday, birthday is uh, Saturday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So um, you have this wonderful project that mm -hmm. you just put out, uh, he Healthy Latin Eating. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell the people or, you know, for the viewers watching, what inspired you to put out this book? Um, I've always wanted to, I'm always dieting, by the way, not dieting, but I'm always trying to watch what I eat mm -hmm. and, and, um, I'm trying to eat healthy as much as I can. Like everybody else, you know, we always go trying, we're always trying to be our best. And, you know, I love eating Spanish food and the thing with Latin food is that, you know, a lot of it's fried, a lot of it wasn't healthy, right. at least the one, at least what I grew up eating for my family and my grandparents. And, um, and so I've always looking for those recipes and I realized, um, that a lot of other people were too. And so I kind of wanted to share what I've learned over the years. Mm -hmm. um, and I have this, um, my partner, Angelo Sosa, who's a chef. Um, a lot of people might know him from Top Chef, who's half Dominican. Um, he really helped me make some, you know, I had my own recipes already, but he really helped me tweak them and make them really good so that people won't even miss, you don't even miss the calories or the, the friedness of anything. Right. So good. Well, how many tastings did you have to go through in order to a know, lot. like, the recipe was a right? A lot. <laughs> the thing was, though, I was so happy about is that, I, you know, I trusted, I trust him. Mm -hmm. He's so good at what he does. Like, really, like, you know how people are just good at something? Like, he's really an excellent chef. And so, um, you know, after the few, there wasn't anything I, like, there was nothing I didn't like. Mm -hmm. It was nothing of the recipes that I didn't like. And it was like... I, I was just more and more surprised. Some of the recipes are mine. Mm -hmm. We have some um, contributors like Rosie Perez gave me a recipe, John Leguizamo, Fat Joe, um, a lot of other Latins that kind of try to right. live the same type of lifestyle. Like we love our food, but we want to be a little healthier. Um, so it wasn't just his recipes, but he definitely over, you know, was overseeing the whole project and making sure all the recipes were up to standard. You know what I'm saying? Right. What do you think was one of the hardest challenges in making the book? Um, the hardest challenge, it just, it takes time to put in something like this. I've been working on this book for like over three years, right. I feel like, maybe more even. Um, you know, first it becomes an idea and then you start working and then things don't work. And there was some recipes that I was doing on my own that, mm -hmm. you know, you make them in your kitchen and they sound good. But then when you try to write it down and the exact measurements right. and the recipes, I wasn't a professional chef, right. so I couldn't do that. So I tried to start doing the book on my own and I realized I need help. I need mm -hmm. somebody to really help me mold these that right way so i had to go through a few phases of mm -hmm. it not working to right. get it to the level because i didn't want to put out something that was not great right. i wanted it to be really something special and so i found angelo who's amazing and he helped me do that but that's it it's just the, the challenge is just keep doing it till it's amazing you know and i saw you had your son nikos in the book at yeah. what age did you uh did you get him in the kitchen you know, it's so funny. He's always been into it, like mm -hmm. a little bit. You know, he's a kid, so he got ADD like the rest of them. He wants to play video games after a little right. while. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to be up in the kitchen with me all day. But he does, he is into it. And especially if you keep it new and fresh, like mm -hmm. something he's never done, whether it's like, you know, helping to cut stuff or help, you know, he likes making smoothies, which are easy. Right. Um, you know, he's uh, he's into it. I mean, he's not making his own recipes yet, except for the sm right. smoothies. He'll make his own little recipes. But, um, but he'll help out. He helps out. Very nice. Well, yeah. we have such a big Latino and Afri African American community mm -hmm. in the DMV. And by the way, Latin food is not just for Latin yeah, people. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's for everybody. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I indulge a lot. So. Yeah, yeah. But um, you know, just talk about it's something that we don't talk about: obesity and um, the health problems that we have, yeah. high blood pressure. Uh -huh. Um, you know, just to those that are watching, what advice would you give them as far as eating healthy and taking care of themselves while they're young? Um, I, I think there's so much information out there right now to just do a little bit of research. And there's so many places that are willing to help you mm -hmm. um, if you are like severely obese, um, where you can get some help. And I think like it's just educating yourself and giving yourself a break and doing it a little bit at a time. Nobody's asking you to go, you know, be an Olympic athlete mm -hmm. next month. It's just a little, little changes at a time. And I know sometimes it's hard when, when the goal seems so far, but if you just keep you just gotta keep going a little bit at a time. Do better, do better, do better. And then one day you're gonna wake up, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna look better, um, and you'll be healthier. It is. Make yeah. sure you support healthy Latin eating. Where can they purchase the book for those that wanna um, get it? I'm on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, uh, barnesandnobles.com. Or you can go to my website, I have healthylatineating.com, um, and you can go there, the links are there. It is. Yeah. Angie Martinez with the Latin Prince of the Airways right here on WPGC TV. Hola.